them flying. Great form, scored lots of goals. It's going to go beyond Cornhill. It's going to come to Alfie on the left foot. No! no! For what? I think he's faster than Reed. That's for sure. Reed's looking like his footing's a bit suspect. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. If you want to get your hands on the brand new hashtag United Adidas home shirt, head over to ProDirectSport.com now to get yours today. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United game. We're here on a Monday night under the lights at Car Sholton Athletic. It's a league game, 48 hours after we last played, and we won. Make sure you watch the video if you haven't seen it. We unleashed the brand new Hashtag home shirts. We're wearing them again tonight, even though we're away. But this is a much different obstacle, Seb. Car Sholton are unbeaten so far in the league and cup. They're second in the league, 17 points from seven games, toughest test of the season so far. Oh, absolutely. They've scored a lot of goals as well here. There's a big crowd here tonight. There's a good vibe yeah. about the place. We need to kick on exactly where we left off. I can feel a good energy though, Spen. I'm feeling good about this. I know, how it's going to be very, very difficult. How good would it be if we can get back-to-back -back wins? Oh, I know we're asking massive. a lot because it's a tough place to come. We have come in once before with the men. We actually won here in a friendly 3-0 yeah. before last season. Although the Carl Shelton team have come a long way since then. Oh, they long finished way since 11th then. in this season last year, but they're second in it right now. The women have played here a couple of times as well because it's where AFC Wimbledon women's team play. So we played when we were in their league. But... We've never won a competitive game here. We've drawn and lost for the women and we won a friendly. Tonight, I'm hoping that can change. Shall we see what team Devs is sending Let's out? Let's see the team. Let's have a look at it. In goal today, keeping his place is Ted Kerr. There has been three changes, though, to the starting lineup from the game on Saturday. Nathan Smith keeps his place also at left back, as does Harry Hasem at centre half. But Greg Halford comes in for Tom Anderson. Matt Waldridge stays at right back. The cornfield is back together with Max Cornhill and the returning Sam Cornish to the starting 11, with PK Humble just ahead. His red card has not kicked in yet. He will be banned for our next game in the FA Trophy, we believe. While we're talking about the midfield, we should say Captain Lewis Watson has made the tough decision to leave Hashtag in search of more regular game time. It's a sad decision because we all love Lewis Watson, but we do understand it and we thank him for everything, including, of course, helping us win promotion last year. We did a social post about this if you want to see more information on our social channels. In the front three, we have Sakasan back in the starting lineup. He's the third change on the left. Pedro Carvalho starts again but moves to the right, and Alfie Q keeps his place up front after scoring two goals on Saturday. On the bench, that leaves Farais Ngarno, Misha Jamaili, Nigel Aris, Alex Tenyo, and Wyan Reed up the tags. Them flying, great form, scored lots of goals, and keeping clean sheets. They will be going into this with loads and loads of confidence, but also knowing that they might go top of the league tonight. And when that happens with teams, sometimes it brings about an edginess because almost of a sudden they start to realise, oh, there's maybe an expectation that they didn't know was there before. And so, can we capitalise on on that? And for us. Press high, rattle over them, high energy. Can we win the ball high up the pitch? There is opportunity to exploit them in the full back areas, especially the left back area, because he does vacate at times. But what I would say is following on from Saturday is take pride in defending. It was so apparent our, you know, we was determined not to concede Saturday. That's got to be every game, all over the pitch. And it's not just the back four. If they commit men forward, we win that first ball, it allows us to break. Coming in. Let's go, come on. And we get things underway here at Car Sholton once again rocking the brand spanking new hashtag home kit. Even though we're away, Sebby, Car Sholton the home team today in all red. Yeah, we're seeing the home kit under the lights, Ben. It is sparkling. Throw in from Nathan, looking for Max Cornell, sending it back to Sack. It goes to PK instead. PK is going to go all the way over to Matty Waldridge. I'm not sure if he meant that. PK only got a little bit more than a half anyway, didn't he? So he's. Yeah, Asterix. he should be fairly fresh. Here you oh, go, bang it! I don't mind that, he's left it for him. PK though, getting it onto his left foot. Oh, he's gone down light there. Oh, okay. The ref was right on top of it, in fairness. They've got, they got a fair amount of uh, signage, haven't they? They've gone short. Now, Worthing were doing this oh, a lot in, the, in uh, the friendly against us, and we really pounced on it. Well, as Max Cornell puts it back in. It's a strong start from the tags. Looking yeah, lively like here. Go on, get there. Go on, Sack. Yes. Beats his man. Go on, Sack of Sand. Oh, you just want him to slot to it. get the shot off. He's done the hard bit. Oh, it's a foul oh, against us. Oh, mate. I felt so good about that. He's just got to hit it. He's trying to feed a side foot. And it's, even when it comes off his foot, it's going the wrong way. Just got to smash it. Okay. Oh, go on, Elf. We'll have it again. Oh, oh. PK, you've got to be careful, mate. No! no! What happens if you get a red when you've got a red coming? Did it double whammy? I don't know, actually. 
PK. Has he got shin pads on, realistically? Oh. Is there any in there? Oh, Sack. you know what? Nathan oh, he's Smith got a shot off. But drifted there. I'm, mate, I'm telling you now, that ball is not, fl is not fully inflated. Unlucky! Well done! See, look, he's not getting the action on it. Look at that pass. Oh, Q takes it in the face, but makes it work. Cornhill now finds Pedro. Pedro, can you deliver on that right foot from Portugal? Stands it up. It's going to go beyond Cornhill. It's going to come to Alfie on the left foot. Yes! Oh, another one. It's three in two days for Alfie Q. Spare, we said last week, Dev has got a real dilemma. We're playing only 48 hours from our last game. Do you rest him after that for a new game? Do you play the guy scoring goals? That is maybe why you play the guy scoring goals. He looks so sharp there. What a finish. On that left foot again. He's in form. He's confident. And that's the way the game has started. It has been all played been in the great. Carl Shelton half. We've been fantastic. The boys are alert. It looks like, an, looks like I'm watching the game on a plus 1.5 speed. They're up for it. Hell of a finish, wasn't it? So down to 10 momentarily, Carl Shelton, but they've got a free kick. Dink it in towards the back post. Oh, and they let him get a touch of the back stick, but it is off. Sack lifting one in. It's a good area. Cornell! Oh. He wants a corner, but he's not going to get it. It's going to come to Williams. Their numbers are a bit confusing. Number four is a, a right back. Nice skill in the middle there. Nice. Oh, and again, it's good. Now we're seeing why they are where they are in the league, I think. Good pass through. Ted Kurd's got to come. And he makes the save, and that's what oh, Ted Kurd does. Teddy C. Talk to me. Talk to me. Not only the save, but then where the ball went allowed him to retrieve it. There might be a little bit more luck than judgment there, but he gets the job done. Waldridge throws it ah, towards Pedro. On. He oh, might get, get away with this here. Oh, fakes the left footed cross. Can he do something with it now? Goes back. Waldridge oh, little disguise pass to PK. He can lift it in. He's put a lot on oh, it. I love but it. Alfie's there. Gotta be. It back across. Oh, oh my flags up. Oh, really? Flags up. Must have gone off. Good work down the left side here. Now playing it into the middle. Carl Scholten trying to get back in this game. Bit easy for him there going forward there. Frimpong. Ball into the striker. Oh, no, Touch gets like away. This. Oh, the crowd thought it had gone in. Luckily wide. It might have even hit a bit Ted of, had bit it of frame. Ted had it covered. Shrink it a bit of woodwork there maybe. Might have been the stanch. Look at that for a kick. Oh, good flick as well. Go on, one more. PK. He's no, offside. he's not. I'm not sure he is Spencer. Well, he's missed it anyway. He missed it anyway. I'm not sure he was. I don't think he knew he was offside either. The whistle gone. Ah. Ted strike. No, we right for this game. This is a good game of football, by the way. This is a Sorry good game of football. The, the, the this is very games. contrasting to our game on Saturday, which was not one for the purists. Although I'll take them all day long, every day of the week, if we get the three points. This one is lively. Come on now. Alf's won that. And he's tonight. on it tonight, by the way. But it's Carl Scholten still on the ball, and that's not a bad pass over to the left-hand side. Matty Waldridge with some defending to do. He wants to get it back on that right foot, clearly. Oh, he's done ever so well there, Pedro, just Good getting lad. back in. Oh, ref. Clumsy. Being amongst it. There we go. This is lovely stuff. How many do we think, Ben? I reckon there's going to be a good four. Go you on. Know. Go on, Sack. Right, Hang what it. could you do? Do you shoot? Goes to PK instead. He's got oh. Alfie to the side. Goes back to PK. Do you play it here to Pedro? Left foot shot. Oh, you f It wasn't the crispest of hits from Pedro on his left peg. No. He can hit him well on that foot. They've had the lion's share of possession in the last 10, 15 minutes or so, you have to say. Don't foul him, he might get yellow. It's very strong play from Frimpong, you have to say. Refs played advantage well. Chance there for the striker to get his shot off on the left foot. Bassett unleashes a shot. Good flick from Alfie. Finds Pedro on this right side. PK's running beyond him. Creating space for Pedro to keep going. Puts it across low. Oh, oh this is a save from Huffer. Really good stop. Pedro's done exactly what you need to do in that situation. Fizz it across goal. Could have been a shot, could have been a cross. It was probably both. We'll have the corner. Giles gets it back to Williams. Back to Giles again. Nice turn. Cornhill's on the hunt. And he nicks it. Alfie Q. It's two on two. Here comes Sack. Look at Sack. Look at Sack. Look at Sack. One, just rugby it. Rugby it. On that left foot. We know he can hit it on them. Good feet. Oh, his feet are a joke. Oh! His I feet are an absolute joke. He's earned the right to strike that. I know Sack's annoyed not getting the pass, but fantastic footwork from the striker. Now, a little bit of afters here. The passion's there. You love to see it. What is incredible about his footwork, Ben, is the speed at which he does that move at. Yeah. Like the ball's moving a long way, and he's moving a lot very fast, and he's done that in transition. Comes back to Lamont. 
Williams has seen plenty of the ball tonight. Hashtag trying to nick it, but the Robins hold on to it. Williams fakes the cross. Back to Lamont. He might deliver. Does put it into a good area. I thought it was going to beat Ted for a second, but of course not. It's and Ted Curd. That. And that's half time. And it's been a decent half. One of the best halves of the season so far. But Hashtag will be the happier of the two teams. 1-0 up at the break. You've been so good. You've been so good. And the start was phenomenal. Um, and it's not, a, it, you know, the way the game was wasn't sustainable. It wasn't. But what you've done really well on the whole is worked ever so hard in shape and defending and particularly wide players, particularly this side, because your tracking has been magnificent, right? And you need to keep doing that because that's the side they want to go. We've seen, we'll nick it off of them in those kind of mid, middle attacking third areas for us, where we then, that, that's when we've got to be just a bit better with our, with our runs and our, our timings and our, our release of pass, because that's our opportunity and we can't pass those opportunities up when we get them. On the whole, it's been really, really good, but we're going to have to earn tonight. You know, whatever we take from tonight, we have to work really hard because we'll have earned it, yeah? I've absolutely loved it from start to finish. You know, the, the attitude been spot on. Yeah, so be patient, and that goes for everyone. Just be patient. You'll get your chances to have a nibble and go and win it so we can break, but you've got to be patient. It's been fantastic, but you've got to go and do it again. Well done. Well done. Good work. Keep going. Back on the way here for the second half. A couple of things to report. There's been a goalkeeper change very for Carl Scholten. Huffers out, Witters in. I don't know if that's an injury-related change. I can also confirm there's 705 people in attendance supporting Ishbian Premier Division football tonight on Monday. Love to see it. Sack, there's a ball on for Matty. He's seen it and he's played it. Waldridge thinking about a shot maybe. Didn't quite sit for him. PK back to Matty. Matty puts it across. And ball. Oh, it's come off a couple of Carl yeah, Scholten players. Very, very harsh, wouldn't it? Yeah, he knew enough to strike his arm, but that nothing been, about it, though, didn't nah. it? It'd be brutal. Oh, no, you just got to miss him. Oh, they're calling for him, ball. I think that's our best chance to get another one, is just pick them off, because they're going to commit and commit and commit. They love this switch. They absolutely love it. Looking for Giles here. Giles wins his header. Takes it down. Fakes Standing the cross. Messi. He's a left-footed player, though. I don't know if he wants it on his right. Was he playing on the right last yeah, time? Yeah, he was. That's a good ball, you know. And it probably should be a goal. Wow. Brilliant cross from Giles. I don't know whether there was a deflection on that or whether he just timed his run properly, but I really thought that was going to nestle in the back of the net. He's completely missed it. Quick throw. It's going to come straight back to Matty. Lofts it towards PK. Looking to get it under here. Pedro. Can he get past his man? Almost dragged to the ground. He's still got it, though. Gives it to Matty Waldridge. He's still got it, I think. Can he... Whoa, what happened there? I have no idea. There's a lot of appealing, though. It's a mess in the box right now. Can't get rid of it. Reed on the ball. Yes, Matty man. cuts it out. On, Can he get the there? In. Got to get there. He does. Send him. Send him. Nice. That. Just run at them, Pedders. Sacks at the back post with PK. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. You know what, I felt on first glance he'd maybe prematurely put that ball in because he had a lot of time there, yeah. Pedro. However, sometimes you fizz in the area, anything can happen. Cornhill. Little pass to Matty maybe if he opens himself up. Good. He did, couldn't oh, do much else there, Matt, Matt. He's not afraid to take that touch, so he does that a lot. He had to do it. The pass from Max was a little bit too far in front of him. And now Carl Scholten back on the ball. Nice pass here into Lamont who hits it. Good connection. Ted Kurds kicks going to drop around Cornhill area. He's headed backwards by Carl Shelton player. PK a bit careless with it there. Need you to be more composed on the ball in that sort of attacking role, PK. Alfie Q does so well to occupy Go on. defenders. Bang it. PK to Sakasan. Can he get a shot? Drifts past his man, puts it in low. Was there a shot on for him there? He went with the unselfish route. Nathan Smith has it now. PK is going to pick it up in the corner. So we need an earpiece with Devs. Give yeah, the intel. Yeah, yeah. Turn. PK. Oh, not been vintage tonight at all, is it? Greg's header bounces off the substitute. Oh, ref. I think he's I, caught him I just hope, below the shim. Though. I hope yeah, Greg's all right. Pad. That hope, was a loud scream. I hope it's a bit of gamesmanship and he's not actually hurt. I don't know. I think it was almost too much of an instant reaction to be gamesmanship. I think he's really hurt there. Oh, it's too much on that, surely. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Look at that. I, I that stand corrected. Unbelievable. 
Great pass to Pedro, great touch. He finds PK. Matty Waldridge in the overlap. First time crosses a low one. Keeper it's a nice deals football, with it. It is. Needs the front post Matt runner. Matty Waldridge reminds me of a young Tim Breaker. Oh, what a player. I mean, front post runner there, and it's a liquid goal. Look at Alfing. Look at Alfing. Go on, Alf. Oh! That's Good unbelievable. Unbelievable endeavour from Alfie How much has it taken out of him, though? Carl oh! Shelton now trying to get back in this game. Bradford looking for the pass to the substitute. Lucan. Still Lucan. Puts it across low. Oh, Could have gone God anywhere. God, 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 gosh. No foul. No foul. There's a good battle going on between Giles and Mordridge. Pedro lifting it in. Towards the substitute, Aris. Got to keep it on, Nigel. He's done well. Nigel, oh, he tries something. Throw in's going to come to Beedon. He's going to whip it in. Cornish gets there. Go on, Alf. Go on, Alf. Can you Do get you it under, Alf? Him here. I think he's faster than Reed. That's for sure. Reed's looking like his footing's a bit suspect. Oh, my gosh. That is great work from Alfie, but a fantastic save from substitute keeper Witter. He's also just shown devs, I ain't tired. I've got more legs than me left yet. Let me leave me on Gaffer, that was a pledge. How well did he hit it? Has he, he got a corner out of it? He's left foot, yeah, it's a save, it's a great save. Oh my God, didn't know he's that. He's going in, mate. Sammy Cornish, PK, that is superb, well done. Oh, Max has been beaten there. Greg comes through, brilliant. brilliant. Time, time, time. Sam, oh, what, what a mean? pass that is for Nigel, if he can get there. Did he mean that one? I think he did mean to go in behind, yeah, and he's made it work. Nigel's picked up. We've got to get him on the ball more. Yeah. Ball in isn't bad. Good hands from the keeper. Yeah, we need to use Nigel's fresh legs. Yeah. We need to get the ball into him a little bit, I think. Maybe switch him with Pedro. Yeah, it seems to be this. going down the I right was thinking more. This. Pedro's really what struggling. Pass that is, by the way. Oh, Ted thought about coming. Oh, no. Changed Ted. his mind. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Love to know. Uh, why didn't Ted come for that? I thought he would have surely come and gone with that up easily. Well left, Ted. Good judgment. Reed's going to look for this switch, which they love. It's a good head in. Ted's got to come. That's Greg brilliant from Halford. Oh, get a life. That is vintage from Gregory Halford. The Vin thing is, how powerful is that chorus? That is a valuable thing. Yeah, 100%. Find Pedro. Just find Pedro's feet. Or we'll just do that. It's not a bad area, to be honest. There's a bit more le depth on it, but... I think the, the Pedro, he's doing it now, I think. Or is it Misha coming on? Is Misha going to come on? Interesting. If oh, a touch from the keeper! I mean, Alfie had to go for that. Uh, PK seconds, everything, and, and he's not you, on it. You have to chase this keeper down because he's had three dodgy touches now. Switch, Matty Waldridge. Oh, he stood his ground. Ted Curd claims it. The man from Chelsea by care of hashtag. Crowd are leaving. Fans yeah. could be going home unhappy in the South London supporting section. He's looked at his watch, Ben. He's looked at his watch. Great header for Max Corner, who's gone about his business very well tonight. Greg. Just to get rid of yes, it. Yes, Gregory. Is that a corner or is it a throw? As you give him a corner from there. Right, it's going to be the last kick of the game, Seb. Keeper, keeper's asking for permission, Spen. He's asked the Everyone's question. He's been given back. the answer. He's wow. coming. Wow. Don't do it to us. They don't deserve it. We've been the better team tonight. They don't deserve it. Switch on, boys. Corner for Carl Shelton. Probably the last kick of the game What's here. What's the ref seen here? He's having a chat with someone. Heart rate's flying right now. Oh. Could be the last kick of the game. Keepers up for Carl Shelton. Here comes the ball. Oh my God, where is it? Where the hell is it? I can't see anything. It's hit someone. It's gone wide. It's gone wide. And yes! It's the full time whistle. And that is a really good performance and result. Best of the season so far against a team who, if they'd won tonight, Seb, they would have gone top of the league. But instead, it's us who beat a team that haven't lost a game in the league and cup all season. Hashtag with the three points. Back-to-back -back wins, back-to-back -back clean sheets. Absolutely phenomenal performance. What drama right at the end. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't see what happened there. We've managed to keep it out. But like you said, Spen, we looked electric tonight. There's a couple of standout performances for me. First of all, I want to single out Matty Waldridge. Another absolutely incredible performance. He just seems to know no bounds. He keeps getting better and better and better. Phenomenal. But the man who got two goals on Saturday, he's got a goal tonight, he's won us the game. Alfie Q is about as complete a striker's performance as you can get, including the goal. He was back winning challenges, getting forward, defending from the front. 
chasing down their keeper. He's absolutely brilliant tonight. And once again, he can't be overlooked as another UFL player of the match for me. Yeah, he's played 180 minutes in 48 hours as well. And every single minute has been exceptional. Well done to every single player in yellow and blue tonight. Big statement of intent that we aren't here to be mugged off. We aren't here to make up the numbers. We can beat anyone on their day, including teams sitting second in the league that have not lost all season. That is big. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Click the link in the description if you want to watch the post-match reaction on the Extra channel. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Until next time, up the tags.